Hi, I'm Eric Lee. I'm an Applications Engineer from Texas Instrument. Today, I'm here to talk about LM5121. LM5121 is a synchronous boost controller with this connection switch control. Typical applications for the LM5121 are battery powered, high reliability, high efficiency, and high power boost converter up to roughly about 200 watts. The key feature I would like to talk about today is the disconnection switch control of LM5121. Let's take a look at how it works. If we look at the typical application diagram, there is a disconnection switch between the power supply and the high side MOSFET. Because the two MOSFET body diodes are, are back to back connected, not only the backward current from the output, but also the forward current from the input to the output can be blocked in shutdown mode. Also, the disconnection switch turns off during hiccup mode of time. Let's take a look at the inside. The disconnection switch controller has one, amp one amplifier and one comparator inside monitoring the sensed input current. To limit the inlet current, RM5121 controls the gate to source voltage of the disconnection switch using a DC current source and a variable current sink controlled by the amplifier. For maximum safety, RM5121 quickly turns off the disconnection switch using the circuit breaker switch. When the sensed input current is greater than circuit breaker threshold. Also, RM5121 uh, is capable of reverse battery protection and input over voltage transient separation. The reverse battery protection is achieved by adding one N channel MOSFET for reverse battery protection and the input over voltage separation can be achieved by adding one general diode at the gate of the disconnection switch. Now I would like to show you some demonstration. Let's take a look at some waveforms on the bench. Here I have one RM5121 evaluation board targeting 12 volt output power supply, electric load, and oscilloscope. I'm going to apply 9 volt input. Right now, the input voltage is 9 volt, but as you can see, output is 0 volt because the disconnection switch disconnects the load from the input. The output will increase to the target output voltage as soon as I release the UVL pull down switch. And at the same time, I'm gonna uh, capture the inlet current. Right now, the converter is boosting 9 volt input to the 12 volt target output. And I, I have some, some waveforms. Here is the waveform. We are low trace is the input current. Red trace is output voltage. Green trace is the gate to source voltage of the disconnection switch. As you can see, the input current is limited by slowly turning on the disconnection switch. Also, the output voltage start increasing from the zero volt to the target output voltage slowly. Next, I'm going to shoot the output to show the hiccup mode operation of LM5121.
right now output becomes zero as I showed the output and thanks to the LM5121 HICOM mode operation the input current is almost zero with, without any damage on the, on the board I'm gonna zoom out the waveform Currently, the blue trace is the restart pin voltage. As you can see, the converter is restarting at every 8 restart pin cycle. This concludes the introduction of LM5121 disconnection switch control. For more information about LM5121, please go to ti.com slash LM5121 or ti.com slash widevin. Thank you for watching.